All right, so this is a problem solving exercise. I'm going to give you a sequence of three numbers, and those three numbers follow a rule that I have in my head. And you are going to give me three numbers, and I'm going to tell you yes, it follows the rule, or no, it does not. After you've done five guesses, and we have yeses and nos logged by Orlando, then uh, you're going to tell me what you think my rule is. All right, my number sequence is two, four, eight. Now, Eddie, give me a, a sequence of three numbers, uh, and I will tell you if it follows the rule or if it does not. 16, 32, 64. Yes. Ben, give me three numbers, and I'll tell you if oh, it's shit. If he says the same thing, he well, it'd be, it would be a yes, yeah, it, he okay. could say the same thing, yeah. He absolutely could say the exact same thing as Eddie. All right, the same thing as Eddie. Is, okay. is, yes, is yes good or bad? <laughs> You're trying to figure out what the... You said 64, okay, okay, so one, one, let's see, one, 128, 256, and what's the next after that? 528? 512. Yes. So Ben gets a yes. Eddie, your turn. Three numbers. Same sequence? You give me three numbers, and I'll tell you if they follow the rule or if they don't. Uh, 3, 9, 27. Yes. Ben. It's all squared. Uh, There's more to the puzzle than this, I feel like. So, did, did somebody say 4, 8, and 16? 4, 8, and 16 does follow the rule. Yes. Okay, Eddie, third guess. 4, 16, 64. Oh, 4, 16, 256. 4, 16, and 256? Yes. 416 and 256? Follows the rule. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. oh. I'm going to write down on this piece of paper what I think this real exercise is about. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> um, I think Eddie just figured it out. <laughs> 387. No. sequence of numbers and then you ha then you have a chance to tell me what my rule is and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong and then we'll continue if you're if you're both if you don't have it Let's see. why don't you just pick a number and start um, maybe could you say like x x squared in x something x what would that be? I'll 
I'll take a variable as, How about as one, part two, of one, sort of like a Gaussian summation say, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, one, one, two, and four. One, that, two, yeah. one, two, and four does follow the rule. Yes. Okay, Eddie, you're, you're uh, first to tell me what is the rule. <clears throat> um, any number times another number result. So that's so the first any number mm -hmm. a times a common number. We're going to come back to that one. Is so uh, so two times five, for example. Would so you could do two uh, ten, and then you would take ten times five and get fifty. Then you take mm -hmm. fifty times five and get two fifty. Okay, I, I understand your rule, Ben. What is your guess? What is what is the rule? <laughs> It doubles every time, doesn't it? See, I see where you got that. 248 was the original sequence of numbers that follows the rule. Did you happen to write down the other guesses that got yeses and noes? No. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's start again. <clears throat> Give me three numbers. The only thing that I will tell you about the three numbers that you give me is if they follow the the rule that describes the first set of numbers 2, 4, and 8. Eddie. Well, it's 2, 4, and 8 went in. 3, 9, and 27 went in. Uh, uh, 5, uh, 50, and 500. 5, 50, and 500. Does follow. I mean, I, I think I have an expression that will write an answer, maybe not all of them. Okay, Ben? It probably, it probably gets everything that will go in, but not all of the answers, it sounds like. There are ways to create number sequences that wouldn't be included in the way that I would do them. Okay. I think, I think so then how can you find out, how can you figure out if you're correct or not? That's really what this exercise is about. How can you, how can you... Well, the, the, the one no that I did there, I didn't do my math right, like a moron. <laughs> so all of mine are yeses. Okay. So, and the only no that we got up there, the only invalid response was a random set of numbers that Ben picked. What does that tell you? There's a specific sequential pattern to that. They follow, okay, so you know that the sequence two, four, and eight, they follow a rule. Oh, let me try another sequence. All right. Uh, a five, four, three. Five, four, three does not. How about eight, four, two? Does not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> How about four, five, and six? Yes. Okay. They're just increasing. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's so that's the rule. That's that's the rule. But about the problem solving process that we went through, you uh, what you did or the the what we normally do is we try and find out what the answer is by proving that we have another answer that fits. Okay, so if, if, we, know that, if we know that 2, 4, and 8, two, you can make up a whole bunch of rules that describe that sequence of numbers. I should have shot out more bad answers than what it... That's exactly right. Okay. You have a hypothesis or a theory, and you don't really collect anything new. You don't understand anything new until you've done something that doesn't work. I tried to give you a red herring, and the scorekeeping, yeses and noes, the whole scorekeeping thing, it was just a farce to get your mind off of the real task, which was to discover what isn't correct. And Rather than rewarding myself for getting what is correct. Right. That's exactly right. It's our human nature to, um, we know that this works. So we want to get, we want to do that more and more and more, but, but you're not really learning anything new. Okay, so you had a rule in your mind that 
that was going to give you a yes every time. And you kept and you were trying to prove that, yeah, okay, yep, that worked. Oh, yeah, I know this works, and so I'm going to do it again. Yep, I, you were collecting correct. Pretty quickly, correct. I shut down other solutions. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. The reason I'm not playing is we played this game earlier, a week, a week or so ago. Oh, okay. That blew my mind. I did the exact same thing. You come up with what you think the rule is, and all you're trying to do is prove yourself right. I needed, I needed a handful of occurrences there to say, okay, these, this group, yeah, they're right. So that's why I was saying, um, I have a rule that seems to work, but I think it's not an exclusive. Right. It's more, but you it's continue, more than that. You, you continue know. to use that rule until I started asking some rapid fire. Right. When, I, when I asked some yeses and noes there, then, then, then you could find it. That changed, that, this little exercise, I told him changed my life. Just changed the way that I think of things anymore, you know? Because it, it's exactly the way I do things. I'm thinking, all right, here's, here's the solution to the problem. Let me make sure that I'm right. And I just keep plugging numbers into the same equation. Yep, that works, yep, that works. And I almost exclude all the other possibilities because uh -huh. I've honed in on a solution that may not be the solution, but it's what I think is the solution. A lot of people view failure as something to be ashamed of or something to hide and to shove under the rug. But I have a different philosophy of failure. Um, and with, uh, with engineering in general, if you do something that you think is going to work, and then it works, you didn't learn anything. All you did was prove that what you thought was going to work, worked. If you do something and you think you have a solution, and you try it, and it doesn't work, now you have to try something new, and that's when the opportunity to learn something comes. I, just, I, I agree. I think uh, the only problem with that is when you make something and it works, you make money. <laughs> when you make something and it doesn't work, you learn well, something for the next time you might make money. That's so, true. That's right. But, but here's, here's the catch. So why do we learn? What, what's the point of it? It's so that we can get to apply it at some point. So when we learn something and we establish an idea and, and we prove it to be successful, that's sort of the foundation of anything that happens again and again. And what happens is, is we forget that, that we, we don't go back and challenge that situation very often, in many cases. You know, as soon as I figured out that, okay, here's something that works. This works and I'm sticking with it. And I'm, yeah. gonna, and I'm gonna keep getting yeses. And, and there's this mystery. That, and it's well, a pat on the back every I, time you get, you get a yes and it's like, crap, I gotta know. But, but in my case, I had to slow down and do math and work on it. And so to where we, where we have established a process to do something, challenge the process at least periodically and try something new. Where, uh, and, and, but you can, you know, so long as you know, okay, well, I can fall back on, I'm challenging the, the existing process, I can fall back on where we started. When we take that leap of faith into a new situation that's new in somewhat entirety, we have to try something uh, and take that risk of going too far. So what is the camera for? That's what I'm yeah, my, Well, Am I not going to be in an OBM meeting? Maybe. I don't know. I, I just I thought maybe this would be an interesting thing to, to see. You know, possibly have a, a video of. and I don't know if it was or not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. So it's, it's really exciting to see how this meeting has evolved over the last six months. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about things that are relevant to our jobs, things that are re relevant to the way we think, things that are relevant even to our personal lives. And I think uh, what we're seeing is some cohesiveness within our department and camaraderie. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see how we're progressing and how things are, are moving along here. We're not just waiting for that once a year off-site session to kind of get to know each other and talk through things. We're doing it weekly, that, that's only going to make us stronger as a department. Okay, very good.